Okay, so with our ear done, first we save our work, and now let's start working on the inside of the mouth. Let's build out the inside of the mouth, okay? Let me turn my, my eyeball off as well, just so we can just so we can see what's happening. And I'll turn this modifier off. I'll turn my subdiv surf off as well. You might you want to build out a mouth in case you animate and then you have your character talking when they open their mouth, so it's not just hollow right it goes a long way even if it's even if it's simple um so let's zoom in to our lips here and if you find that you zoom in i don't know if you saw what i just did right there but if you zoom in to where you can't zoom in anymore you're like why can't i zoom in anymore just hit the period key okay let's alt click and select this edge loop remember when we were doing the lips and i said you're gonna want this to be clean well today's the day okay so with this edge loop selected in side view um, i'm going to hit the e key and y and just pull straight back on the y um, now this is pretty convoluted so um we want to clean that up i'm going to here let's put the let's let's get the front view and wireframe as well just so we can see what we're doing so let's come in here and manually get stuff where it needs to be so we'll grab on the z and bring that up and then i'm just going to go around and move the move these verts uh, just kind of just get them started okay here we'll pull these back a little bit and then we'll pull these down a little bit okay and we can also you can go s y zero and that'll that straightens it up perfectly so now, so now we got now we got a nice clean edge right there so we can grab this and bring this in on the Y a little bit. Now when we scale on the Z, it goes up nice and clean. So now I think we can begin in earnest. We'll pull this back right there. So now let's extrude and pull it back. Then we'll scale it on the Z to make it a little bit bigger. And then we'll scale it on the Y at zero to straighten it out. And then let's scale it on the Z to make it a little wider, or excuse me, to make it a little taller, and we're good on the Y. Okay, so let's hit E again, and you can you can start to see what we're doing, right? This is pretty easy now. Uh, we'll scale on the Z. Okay, and that's that's as tall as we're gonna go. So now we'll bring it here, and we'll start to bring it in a little bit on the Z, and in a little bit on the X. And we'll do it again. I'm just extruding. You're just building out your the mouth cavity, right? We'll scale that in on the Z. Let's rotate a little bit because we're going to curve it down uh, to go into the um, down the throat into the esophagus. So now let's E to extrude. Uh, we're going to rotate that even more. We'll bring that this way, like that, that, and then. We're just gonna E and rotate here. We're just about finishing up. So now we'll E one more, rotate it, and grab it in like that. And then uh, and then we'll just hit a face. Um, now you can see we've got an end gun here. Okay, so let's let's make some happy quads. Uh, and we can do that here you know what let's just let's have let's get some practice with the knife tool okay there's one nailed it there's two nailed it here there's three nailed it and then and then there's four nailed it one two three four there we go now we got some happy little quads okay let's uh let's let's make the tongue right quick so everybody hit number three Let's do the back two, and then let's just, let's E to extrude, and then grab, and then E to extrude, and then grab, and then if we want, we can very, we can just grab this on the X, and now we're widening up the tongue, right? You can kind of see that we're, we've widened up the tongue. Select it, we'll E again. Okay, so control numpad three will get you into uh, this type of view. I'm gonna go front view over here and side view over here. Okay, let's uh, 
Let's get some teeth for our character. Now, in object mode, we want to shift A to add a cylinder. Okay, and a massive cylinder is going to show up. And let's scale this down. Okay, we want to scale that down. Okay, so this this is a little off center, and that's that's okay, right? Let's uh, just delete that, and let's we want to recenter our cursor because I want my cylinder to be completely center with the world. So let's hit Shift S and go cursor to world origin. Now the cursor is right here. So when we Shift A and add a cylinder, it's perfectly centered. That's what we're looking for. So let this be your default, not not off center, but center. Okay, um, and then up here we're gonna write. Upper teeth, because these are our upper teeth. We can turn the eyeball on if you want. No, I'll keep the eyeball off. Let's scale this down. Okay, scale it down, and then grab it up on the Z, and then zoom in. And let's scale it out a little bit more, like almost to the edge of your lip. Um, and then let's scale it on the Z to shrink that in, like that. And then let's grab it down on the Z a little more. And then maybe maybe scale that. So let's grab that. I'm gonna need to grab it on the Y. And we can bring it forward. And then you can see when you you know when you bring it too far forward, it penetrates the lip. It just goes through the lip, tears right through the lip. Now you want to rotate that just a little bit and then bring it up. A little bit more uh, with our object selected let's tab into edit mode and then with face mode selected which is uh, the three the three select the top and the bottom face okay and then hit I and go in just a tiny little bit and right there we have the makings the trimmings of, uh, of our teeth okay let's delete these faces and then this is this takes a little bit of nuance. You want to make sure that they're you're matched up, okay? So, and to do that, you can go uh, just Control. Uh, excuse me. You can go Numpad Seven. You want to get corresponding edges, and then fill that in with F, okay? And then just select one of the edges, and then just keep hitting F. And Blender, Blender will naturally just fill in all the faces for you. And that is how we create the chiclets that are going to form our teeth. Now, uh, Control-3 shoots us back into uh, side view. I'm going to go into um, wireframe mode because now I want to delete a bunch of these teeth. Just get rid of them. And then let's just delete those verts. And now, and then we can go like this and hit F. And we can go like this and hit F. Delete half of our teeth and put a mirror modifier on. Obviously, you are. You saw this coming, didn't you? There we go. Now we got a mirror modifier. Now we only have to work on half the teeth. Perfect. We're working smarter, not harder. And clipping's on. You know, I'll I'll hide this mirror as well, just from what we're working on. And you can start to see our teeth. Okay, now now let's shape the teeth. One thing that you wanna that you should know is that the the front teeth are always bigger. Um, it's a mammal thing. It's not just a mammal thing. It's also in rabbits and gophers. Um, a lot of gnawing uh, woodland creatures who gnaw. You don't say gnaw enough. Um, Anyway, woodland creatures who gnaw know what I'm talking about. So let's make this a little bit bigger. I'm just going to double G and then slide it just so my front tooth, my buck, my buck tooth, you, you know, you don't want to make them too big. Otherwise, lest it be a buck tooth is just a scotch bigger. Okay. Now I want to alt click and then shift alt click around every edge loop of our teeth and then here's what we're going to do this is this is this is fun we're going to create the spacing in between our teeth and we're going to do that by beveling so you can either hit Control b if you like hotkeys like i do or you can find it in your sidebar um, and then once you are have activated the, be the bevel we're going to pull it back a little bit not too much not too much just a scotch 
And then once I've created a little bit of space, I'm gonna roll my middle mouse button up one. And this is why you wanna have a three button mouse because it's that easy. Um, only one time and then I'm gonna lock that in with enter, okay? So now you say, well, how do you create the space? This is actually, this is pretty slick. So now we're gonna do it again. We're going to alt click and then shift alt click in these middle, oh, here, let's just do this one at a time. Repetition is the mother of skill, right? So now we have this selected and then let's scale it down. Okay, just like that. And look, we've created a little a little divot, a little, a little space around here, right? And then we're gonna do that one at a time. Okay, so just go through and then alt click, S to scale, and then create the space. And then alt click, S to scale and then create some space rotating around we've got all of it S to scale again S to scale again and S to scale okay and that's that's just a subtle way to create just a little bit of space in between these pearls, in between these pearly whites. Okay, save your work. Let's take care of the the edges, right? This this back one here. Let's give it a loop cut. The uh, the backs of my teeth kind of go up the, the tiniest bit. So I'm gonna bring this like up like that a little bit. We can call that there. And then the front the front of the teeth is not just a complete bar, you know, unless you have them capped obviously. But this one you're going to want this the the most subtle uh edge loop out of all of them. So we can do that right there. Like that. And then same thing here. We can scale this like that. Like that. Okay, and then obviously to see what that looks like, just bring your bring your mirror modifier on. Okay, and there we go. That's how we create some space between the teeth. Let's add a few more loop cuts. Control R because we know that repetition is the mother of skill. Let's add one right here because our teeth are not completely flat. Um, these back ones are right. This is these clearly evolved for um, uh, grinding plants, right? Like cows. Our, our cuspids, right? We have them like uh, cows and brontosauruses, brontosauri. Um, but our front, our canines, definitely helped us eat meat over the years. So I'm just going to grab that and bring this down just a scotch. And then this one here, uh, same thing. And this one, this is your, this is your canine. These incisors, right? These are for, for tearing, tearing meat and flesh. This is what uh, we evolved. To, uh, to help us get some protein. Um, I'm gonna grab that right here. You know what? I'm going to move this just just, just a scotch. And then I'm gonna grab this down. And this one here, you know, again, it's subtle. It doesn't have to be crazy. If, if your character's a vampire, right? Then here's your, here's your fang. Um, and I, man, I get it. If you're a vampire or you like vampire, I get the vampire mythology right dracula oh what a good story right he's just it's just a cautionary tale against the wish to immortality it just he just i get a man he's just a guy he just wants to be loved and he destroys everything he touches i that's just that's relatable um to me uh read into that what you will i'm gonna escape out of that uh let's add a subdivision surface modifier and just like that, the chiclet shape of the teeth. Now, I want that on the bottom. I don't want that too much uh, at the top. So if we just select the top, there's something we can do that kind of nullifies the effect of the subdiv surf modifier. And I think it's shift E. Yeah, cool. So if you hit shift E, you can you know, it like it gets rid of the subdiv surf modifier. So we can clearly see that one side is the bottom, and these are our teeth, and they're nice and shapely. And then another side is the top. Okay, so now we have an upper teeth row, and let's create our bottom teeth row. And we're gonna do that 
with, uh, well, Shift D. Duplicates, lock that in with Enter. We're going to scale it on the Z negative one. And that should just flip it right upside down. Okay? So if you hit S, Z, negative one, you're going to get, and look, I'm just going to grab this on the Z, and you can see right there, this is the, our exact same thing, um, just flipped. Now, we want that to be, well, here, let's, teeth, bottom row, and we're going to call this one teeth, top row. I'll hit uh, control three to go into the side view, and uh, I'm going to move this up a little bit. I'm going to grab it on the Y just to move it up just a scotch. A um, couple rules with the bottom set of teeth. The bottom set of teeth is always smaller. So we want to scale that in like that. And then we can just bring it up like that. Maybe rotate it up like that and bring it behind. It, they're always smaller and always behind the top row of teeth, unless you have like an underbite, like uh, Bubba from Forrest Gump. Oh, man knew his way around good shrimp. Um, anyway, he had a, he had an underbite, something gnarly. But uh, most human primate mammals evolved to have a smaller set of teeth on the bottom row and a larger set of teeth on the top row. So we can we're just going to try and set this up on the bottom row like that, just a little bit below. And you can see our teeth are here and here. And also, if, if this is too jagged and pointy for you, which it, it damn well might be, uh, take a look. We can hit Tab, and then we can very easily Control R, and then watch pull that up, and you can see it. You can see it kind of adds some fullness. You still, you know, you don't lose the curvature of your tooth, um, you just get a little fullness. And let's do let's do the same with uh, with our top row. So we're going to select our top row, tab into edit mode. We will control R to add another loop cut, and we'll bring it down just like honestly just there, right? It doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be uh, aggressive. And we can come over just like that. Good set of teeth. We're good right now. You know what? I think we're going to call this done. Um, in the next one, I think we're ready to move on to the body. So in the next one, we'll build out the neck and uh, the torso. Okay? Everybody save your work. Good job. Nicely done. You're doing great so far. I'm going to take the dog for a walk and uh, get an iced coffee because I like iced coffee. Iced coffees are just, they're delicious. Um, and I will see you in the next one.